Panda wakes up from a nap in the jungle. Panda describes his surroundings to himself. I see bamboo. I see other pandas. Panda discusses with himself whether or not he is hungry for more bamboo. Panda suggests that if I tumble over to that tree, then I can eat bamboo. Panda predicts he will be even more hungry by the time he reaches the bamboo. On the way over, Panda sees a tree and Panda decides to construct a plan on how to climb the tree. He takes a piece of wood from a nearby tree and sketches a graph and the approximate location of the banana that he has his eye on. Panda doesn't normally like bananas because, well, he is Panda, but this banana just looks so much more interesting than the bamboo. Panda calculates the slope of his climb derived from the slope equation of m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. He is applying, applying the mathematical skills he learned in Panda School, where he also learned the importance of showing every step of one's work after defining the problem. He plugs in the numbers into the equation and solves for m, which stands for slope. After analyzing his work, he deduces that the slope of his climb is too high, especially considering how tired he is. Luckily, Panda designs a new plan. He will take a long stick and whack at the branch so his desired banana will fall to the ground. He estimates that with about 10 whacks or so, the banana should fall down. Panda compares his new plan to his old plan and determines he likes this one much better because it requires less physical activity and heaven knows, Panda really just wants to eat his banana and then sleep. He evaluates for a second exactly how much he wants the banana in comparison to how much he wants to sleep and distinguishes that he wants the banana more than sleep at this given moment. On the same piece of wood, Panda lists the steps needed to, in order to get the banana for future reference. He also draws with a pencil the location of his tree in relation to his hut and labels his diagram so he can refer back to where the best bananas are. He measures the distance from his hut to his banana tree and identifies that it is only 10 yards away. He annotates this measurement at the bottom of his diagram also for future reference. He identified how to capture the banana. He puts his plan into action, and as he had estimated before, the banana fell from the tree after exactly 10 whacks. He eats the banana, and the panda is now very happy. He comments on his outline of the steps of getting a banana from a high tree that all work was well worth how good the banana tasted. Panda sees another panda tumbling over and explains to new panda how to get another banana from the tree. New Panda thanks Panda and states he is hungry for a banana too. Panda helps New Panda get a banana, and the two become best banana-eating panda friends.